Hey, what is up, y'all? RJ here with CV Tech, and today I'm going to be doing a series of speed tests. One on the iPhone 5S and the other on the Samsung Galaxy J3. Both of these phones are activated, so I will be doing these tests separately because in this kind of position here, it's not the easiest to do it <laughs> uh, with the way they're sitting. So uh, uh, I'll be doing a couple of different speed tests in different areas. So I hope this helps a little bit and maybe show you some difference in speed. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start here on the Samsung Galaxy J3. So let's go ahead and begin this test. So as you're seeing here, uh, pretty good download speeds here in this area. Uh, not the best I've seen, but I'm not in the best area either. So 15.97 rounds out the download speed. And I did a test a minute ago, and the upload speeds is where it seems to be having trouble with. So as you can see there, upload speeds seem to be virtually non-existent for some reason. So only a half a megabit upload. So uh, let's go ahead and change over to the iPhone 5S. Alright, so we are on the iPhone. And we'll go ahead and hit speed test. And run this test. So you can tell a big difference from the uh, other night speed test on the iPhone 5S up close to uh, 12 megabits download. Finishing that at 12.2. Upload speeds are struggling as well, uh, but it is better than the J3 at the moment. I got two bars of service as you see there. So 1.47 megabits upload, 150. So finishing now at 153, uh, 1.53 megabits upload, 12.2 download. So we're going to move on somewhere else and uh, do another test. Okay, so now back on the uh, second test here on the J3. I went a spin of about 9 miles. And so we're going to do another test here and see what kind of speeds we get. So... Yeah, I mean, even with full service in a known enhanced LTE tonight, speed seemed to be just a little bit lower than usual. 14.4 um, megabits per second download. And it, I mean, it looks like it's going to be around, yeah, 11.22 megabits upload. So let's go on to the 5S. Okay, so I'm actually at a place now where I got full service on the iPhone, which is uh, very few and far between. So let's go ahead and go into speed test here and run this test. So it looks like this is going to out outdo the J3 if it maintains the speed of 20 megabits per second download yeah 20.82 megabits upload is in the seven so looks like it's going to uh, pretty much beat out the uh, J3 on this speed test Except for, uh, I can't even remember the upload speeds now on the J3. But 20.82 megabits download and 7.15 upload. So we're going to do one more test. And this, and this test here is where I normally do my uh, live streaming uh, when I'm out and about. So uh, let's go ahead and head down, there, head down there and we'll come right back. Okay, so this is the last test I'm going to run. This is normally... Uh, where I get the best enhanced LTE speeds. Uh, I got full service as you see there. So let's go ahead and run this last speed test. If this was not super fast tonight, then I know that there's probably congestion in the network or something. And yeah. Normally right here, I pull around 35 megabits download on the J3 or Stylo 2 or 
you know other devices um, so looks like that uh, upload speeds are you know pretty decent as well at around 11 right at 11 and a half megabits upload 23.26 megabits download so let's do the final test on the iPhone 5s okay so this is the area where I typically have the uh, worst LTE speed test here in the full enhanced area as you see I only got two bars of service versus the full service on the J3 so let's go ahead and run this last speed test they're all running on the same server. I apologize, this video is so long, having to, having to do all these separate. So yeah, it's the same speed right here in this particular area where I'm getting less than 3G speeds um, in this full enhanced LTE area. So as you see there, only 1.1 megabits download and it looks like it's going to be about the same upload as well so apparently in this particular area of um, the full enhanced LTE area the iPhone just does not pick up the band uh, which is probably band 41 um, which has of course the fastest network um, this does only have band 25 unlike the newer phones that are out on Boost Mobile so as you see there 1.13 download, 1.06 upload. So uh, yeah, in various areas, this phone really does do you know fairly decent. 20 megabits download is not bad. Uh, of course, it's not going to be you know I know I'll get some comments probably saying you know that Verizon's better, T-Mobile's better, and all that. Well, yeah, it probably is, and you know in certain areas and um, stuff like that. But uh, 20 megabits download. You know, you can do, you know, you can live stream, you can, you know, browse the web and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, this is the final test I'm going to run on speed test on the J3 and the iPhone 5S. So, uh, hope it was helpful a little bit. Uh, hit that like button. I sure would appreciate it. Any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section below. And I'll answer them for you as best as I can. And subscribe to my channel if you ain't already. I'd appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. We'll see y'all in the next video.